Robert teaches English. Everyone, this word is through. Through. So what does O U G H sound like? It sounds like ooh. Good. So Beverly, how would you pronounce this word? Ooh. No, Beverly. It's though. Uh huh. Everyone, say it with me. Though. 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 So what does O U G H sound like? Yes. Is it O? That's right. It sounds like O. O. All right then. What does this word sound like? I believe that word is thought. No, no, it's thought. Thought. Are you guys even listening? So what does O U G H sound like? O. No, no. What does O U G H sound like in this word? O. Yes, good. So then, what does this word sound like? <sighs> no, no, no. It's tough, tough, mm. tough. O U G H sounds like off. Uh, someone else. Someone else. Try this word. What does this word sound like? I know. It's cuff. You're very close. It's it's not cuff. It's cough. Cough. So what does O U G H sound like in this word? Off. Yes. Good. Let's try another word. What does this sound like? Oh gee, I know. It's plough, sir. It's not plough. It's plow. Plow. O u g h sounds like how. Say it with me. Plow. 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 All right. One more word. What does this word sound like? Hiccup. No. Golly, is it hiccup? No. Hiccup. No! Oh, it's hiccup. No! Hiccup! No, no, no! Hiccup? No, you're all wrong! Are you even paying attention? This word is hiccup. Hiccup! Go on, say it with me. Hiccup. Hiccup. What's wrong with you guys? You don't even want to participate. You don't even want to learn English. You're unbelievable. I try to teach you four simple letters. O U G H. Is it really that hard? Yeah, dude. It really is that hard. What a jerk. So yeah, there are seven different ways that we pronounce O U G H in American English. Let's quickly review those. So, the first one is a long O sound, and two of the most common words you'll hear that O sound in are though and do. Next up, we have the ow sound. Ow. You'll hear this in words like bow, plow, and drought. Next up is the oo sound, the long double o, oo, in words like food, and you'll hear this in the word through, through. It is the exact same sound as the past tense of throw. I threw the owl. went through the door. This is the only word I can think of that sounds like oo with O-U-G-H. Um, if you can think of any other words, go ahead and write those in the comments. I'd love to hear about them. Next up is the short O sound, ah, ah. You'll hear this in a lot of words, thought, brought, 
fought. And this one is a little bit easier because it's always followed by a T. If you see O U G H T, you know it's going to be an ah sound. Next up is off, off. So there's the short O sound, ah, plus an F sound, f, off. And the most common word you'll hear this in is cough. <coughs> I have to cough. And the other one you'll hear it in is trough. And a trough is a long feeding bowl for animals. Farm animals. <laughs> There's also the uff sound, uff, which is a short U sound, uh, plus an F sound, f, uff. And you'll see this in words like tough and enough and rough. The last one in the video was up in the word hiccup. However, in American English, we stopped spelling hiccup like that a long time ago, and we spell it like this now, which obviously makes more sense. The crazy British are still <laughs> spelling it the other way, I think. So I wouldn't worry about that one. I just threw it in there for fun. What are you going to do about it? Now, I was planning on doing some research and telling you why O-U-G-H has all of these different sounds. And I started doing the research, and to be honest, it was quite boring. And it was also inconclusive, which means there was no clear answer. Basically, English borrows from a lot of other languages, and even though spelling has not changed in a long time, pronunciation has changed over time. We will leave it at that. It was boring, and if I don't find it interesting, I don't think you're going to find it interesting. Sadly, there's not really any formula or way of knowing which pronunciation you're going to get other than memorizing these words. Luckily, there's not too many of them, and there is the one trick of O-U-G-H-T sounding like ought. So that's the one that you can count on. But for practice right now, go ahead and read this paragraph with me. Father coughed as he thought about the coming winter. Would he have time to plow the fields? If there was a drought, would he have enough water? Though he was tough enough to get through without much food, what could he put in the trough for his pigs? Had he bought enough feed for the poor little beasts? Though he knew it would be rough, he comforted himself with the thought of pie. Moments later, he began making dough. I hope that was helpful. What other letter combinations confuse you? Write them in the comments below, I'd like to know. As always, thank you for learning with me. I hope you know you're doing a magnificent job and I hope you know I believe in you. I will see you soon.